What's good, y'all? It's your boy Little Roy, aka Little Roy TV. We back with another video. Now, to stay on top of content and on track for the rest of the week, I have a schedule planned out. So these next two videos will be similar, but it's also to join the conversation based off a lot of hype sneakers that dropped in the previous year or two. And I want to do what's better, what you prefer, what you prefer and the war that's why i'm now naming the title well this one is specifically going to be jordan 4 war and you guys are going to tell me what you prefer let's get back on the history and talk about them because i know some of these sneakers people wanted it was hype people love them and just like me they're both in my collection so stay tuned no further ado if you're new here please subscribe to the channel also subscribe to my music channel as well um, follow me on instagram the instagram is always going to be on the screen so you can go follow me show some love over there and like comment share let's get more people join the squad and the fam and the channel and anything you want to leave in the comments i respond and read everything so no further ado let's get right into the video let's get it so off rip right i wanted to talk about and go back to last year my shoe of the year, no other than was the Jordan 4 SB Pine Greens, right? That's right here. Let me put this box down. That's right here. Right? You guys see the box. You already know what it is. If you don't, that's the Jordan 4 SB collab Pine Greens, right? Last year, that was my sneaker of the year, right? Let's take that out of the box as we speak about it. So that's my sneaker of the year last year right this one right here the best shoe a lot of people have mixed reviews they're like oh people love it it's sneaker of the year only because it's a collab pretend this is not a collab pretend the sp is not here it just says nike and it's no i guess gum bottom and no skater type tongue regular jordan 4 it's still the sneaker of the year for me last year and it's still one of the best sneaker colorways silhouettes that dropped Right, so that's that. Two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it dropped the same year. I don't really remember these times be flying by fast. But the next sneaker of the year, two years ago, the Jordan 4 Military Blacks. That was my sneaker of the year in 2022. These bad boys, right? So. You got 2022 sneaker of the year, 2023 sneaker of the year. So you guys let me know right now, did you grab yourself a pair of these bad boys, these military blacks? Uh, by far, this is probably one of the worst drops I ever had personally as a reseller and also a personal person. I know this is feeding off the panda hype, but based off this nice gray is what makes this one of the best Jordan 4s, let alone best sneakers, at least in my opinion. Um... So, I only got, I know it's going to sound a bit asshole-ish, sorry for my language, but I only was able to grab like seven, maybe ten pairs of these. And that's pretty bad because it was kind of like five men's pairs, five GS. And that's a terrible thing for resellers. Like, yeah, it wasn't a good drop, but I was still manageable to grab a personal pair. Obviously, you guys can see it. Um... I also end up hitting a raffle from one of the stores. I put a raffle in and I never even picked it up because I, I, I do so much raffles and pickups for every account I have on every store. So I literally forgot to check another email and I found out a year later, I see the thing that says, congrats, you won. I clicked on the raffle from the store because I really win from this store. So I clicked on it and said, congrats, you won size, your size in the military blacks. And I know for sure, because I wanted a personal around that time, I put my size. So I could have had at least another nine and a half. So terrible drop. So let me know if you guys cop this yourself. But yeah. Now a little backstory on this. In the resale game, right? You're going to know you make money, you lose money. Sometimes most of the stuff you try to get for retail but in this case, for this sneaker, it was hyped. It was probably most hype. It was whatever. If they would have dropped grade school, them shits would have been so expensive right now. But with that being said, this I had to pay resale for. 
I think with retail, it came up to like 250 260 I don't remember what the price was for these, but I know I paid around 80 to $100 over retail, $90 with shipping from another person in my cook group. If you want to join my cook group to get sneakers and brick flips and make money any type of way with reselling, take your shit to the next level, let me know. I can send you a link and you guys can join that. But with these, I had to pay resale. Like I said, I had to have this in my collection. There was no way I was not going to pay resale. And yeah, size nine and a half, I believe I got. Yeah, nine and a half. So obviously, most of you guys that have watched them just probably did not touch these. And that's okay. You know, if you hit, you hit. Congrats. If you didn't and you had to pay resale like I did, it's okay as well. I still copped them. And, I mean, I guess if you wanted them and you couldn't afford them, I understand why you would be mad and upset. But, based off these Jordan 4s, and there's been some time that everyone can digest both of these colors and silhouettes. You guys let me know in the comments below, which Jordan 4 do you prefer? The Jordan 4 Nike SB collab, or the Jordan Nike Jordan 4 Military Black? You guys let me know which ones you prefer in the comments below. And let's have a healthy, fun conversation. And if you guys have been watching my channel and video, I always say Jordan 4 and Jordan 3s are the best Jordans. I'm not here to argue with none of you. That's my opinion. And if you disagree, you're wrong. I have a lot of 3s and 4s in my collection, so I can argue. That's why that's my favorite silhouettes is Jordan 3s and 4s. I've been here before the hype. I have hype fours and I also have fours that people forgot about, don't have, whatever it is. But with that being said, I just want to do a special segment right here. Jordan 4 War, what sneaker of the year from 2022 and 2023 would you prefer? Pine greens, military blacks. You guys let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Your boy Little Roy is out. Peace. <coughs>